what you're all doing here today. Hmm? Well, today we're going to be going under a educational journey. Okay, you, the viewers, also those of you watching online and all of you here, we are going to be going through a certain demographic, a very huge discovery, I dare say. You see, I am a curious person. We need to figure out what is going on with this specific subject that I am pertaining to you today, and that is bears. There we go. Now, of course, welcome everyone and welcome viewers. I am Professor Void and I will be your teacher today. I am specifically trying to look for the answers to my questions, and that is, what are bears? You see, there's a lot of things pertaining to bears and how they transcend species that I just need to know. There's so much going on here. I have a lot of research to go on to. We got videos, we got articles, articles bouncing around. But of course, don't you worry, I got plenty of other stuff here. Go ahead and check out some of the emotes that I got uh, got around here. We got a lot of stuff here for you flirtatious types and all that mumbo jumbo. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of course. Let's see. Let's get on to that home screen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Of course, this is all going to be very rough and very new on my end. So hopefully everything is going to be all kosher. Let me throw on some jams, okay? So let's see here. right on so for today's lessons we're going to be talking about bears through three different kinds of subjects it turns out bears they transcend phys beyond like past physical forms they actually move farther into other reaches that we had, had no idea first of all just how it's been handled on pop culture it's pretty amazing really now of course what is what are bears? Well, we know, of course, that they're animals. But what else, what are parts are they? Turns out they could be full-blown organizations. I did not know that a species can transcend physicalities. It's weird. It, it has whole cultures behind it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our work cut out for us. And, of course, we're going to need the music, the music to set for it. Here we go. Now, of course. There we are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot that we have to go under here. There's a lot of research we have to go forth. Now, what we have to know is that what are bears? Now, I'm able to actually bring it, you know, bring it into certain parts here. There we go. Now, there's many things that we have uh, known about bears, uh, bears, and they've been around for quite some time. Now, what farther th what we need to dive more into is how are these bears able to converse? Now, of course, right now for the first part of our lessons, we are just going to be uh, talking about bears as the animal. Now, I have done my research, uh, research here. And we have brought it down to certain demographics. All right. We have the American black bear, the, the Ursus Americanus, the Asia, 
Asiatic, Asiatic black bear, a Ursus thebitanis. This is very. Now, of course, we have to look more down. And of course, these bears transcend colors, which is another crazy factor. What other uh, parts? The brown bear, the Ursus arctos. Polar bear, Ursus maritimus. I might be summoning something. We have no idea. Now, of course, you know, we're moving more towards the sloth bear. If this is a more of a, ver a verification of a hybrid of these certain entities coming in back and forth, we don't know. The malarious Ursinus. Now we have the sun bear, the Relectus uh, Malayanus. The giant panda bear, the Arleromba Malalukia. I hope I didn't butcher that, but then the spectral bear, the Tremortos Unortus. <sighs> now, of course, what we uh, now we must understand is that, well, where do some of these bears? Bears. Bears, they. They are worldly. They transcend continents. They go and they move around. Are they here to take over? I don't know. They're very powerful. Now, of course, what we must enact is, is. Where do we start? We might have to go uh, more into the actual American um, black bear and see what pulls forth into here. The American black bear, a medium-sized bear, uh, bear endemic of the North. Endemic, what is endemic? Is a state of species being native, ah, native to North America. Is the continent's smallest and most widely distributed bears. American black bears are omnivores. I believe many uh, bears are. They eat meat and plants, so they're very versatile. So they are all consuming. We can see this. My goodness. There's no stopping these. I can see. I can see it already. What about this? <laughs> ah, hairy men and sports. No, we're driving too far into it. What about the Asiatic bears? What do you have to say about them? Also known as a giant bear, moon bear. They are space. They are part of this space. The white chested bear. Say it with your chest. I see you. All right. Is a medium sized bear. Okay, so far. Wait a minute. That is largely adapted and orbital lifestyle. What does this mean? The locomotion is the locomotion of animals and trees. They just, they're in the trees now. Many bears are uh, at least within the trees. I can see that it lives within the Himalayas. Southeastern Iran. My God, they're everywhere. We must see this. Oh my goodness. The brown bear. What do you have to say for yourself? Large bear, they have gotten bigger. I'm bigger found the crosses of Eurasia. What is Eurasia? My God. They have taken over two full whole continents. Do you see this, students? Do you understand what is happening here? Bears are invading. Just, we're just barely into the animal section at this point. We still have so much we need to find out about this, about these creatures here. All right. Yes, Bradley. No, you may not use the restroom. Please go. You may you piss there. I'm sorry, viewers. We must continue. Back to the research here. Brown bears, they are. And what's terrible about it is they are cute. I can tell. Look at it. My word. Look at its innocent, innocent face. 
It looks cuddly, but I believe Kodiak bear. Ah, oh, they're huge, but oh my goodness, who knows? We don't know what they could bring. I don't know. What are these words? What are these summonings? Period for the first. Oh, this talks about their uh, the Precambrian is the earliest part of the Earth's history set before the current. My word, they've been here for years. Thousands upon thousands of years. The Cambrian period was the first geologic period. The Palisiac era. Cambrian lasted 55.6 million years. What are we to do? I don't know. Hairy men, animals, what does it all mean? They are worldly. They are. They ate. They eat time, maybe? I don't know. They are timely. You are all getting this, right? You're taking down your notes? Good, 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 good. All right. Back up to it to the polar. My God, they've conquered all the elements, haven't they? What is it? Duh. What is this? What? Polar bear. The British bear. What? They're a band? They're. No, they've. They've infiltrated the human race by singing. What is this polar bear? American band. The Los Angeles band led by former Jane's addiction. Oh my God. It's part of his name. I don't know. The basis. We're getting distracted. No, this is how they get us. No, we cannot look into their. No. Please. Polar bear. Species. Yes. The polar bear is a hyper carnivores. Oh my. I don't know. I don't know if we can show that. We must have. We might, I might have to blur that out. I am sorry, viewers. There's too much. There's too much. Native range lies. They're white, so they they become acclimated. The specific what is this? Extinct. They are threatened. Their race has been threatened by who? Us? Us? Are they? Are we currently fighting them right now? They must be fighting. Them. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Bears whose native range lies largely within the Arctic Circle, encompassing the Arctic Ocean. Is the smallest? Oh, okay, we're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good there. It's surrounding seas. Surrounding seas and surrounding land masses is the largest extent. Extent. It's part of why she contrast of paleontology deals with living organisms. It is the study of what? Oh, excuse me. A boar. What? Adult male whales. My word. Years for you Americans there. Are these the biggest? Oh, they might be the biggest. Ecological niche. An ecological niche is the match of a species to a specific environmental condition. Ah, polar bears, they specialize in the cold climate students. Make sure you're writing your notes down. You two viewers. This is our rapid fire. We must look forward into what these parts mean. Do I make myself clear? Write down your notes now. <laughs> Back to the lesson. Cannot. Maybe. Constancy. What? Is he a polar bear? Get a better look at you. Ah, huh. what is this? What are you, cuz? Constantine John Fibbs, second Baron 
was an English explorer who served during the Seven Year War and the American War of Independence. Okay. The bear is a Unka Chuchki language known as Chukat. Is it? Ah, oh, okay. And Russian is usually called that. The white bear. All right. We can't, can't stay too long. We must continue forth. The sloth bear. Oh my goodness, are these like pertaining to the seven deadly sins? I wouldn't be surprised, but there's eight. It's even worse. Ah, hairy men, sports. No, can't be distracted now. Not now. Can't do it. Sloth bear. Damn it. Look at it. It's cute. Damn it. Want to pet it, but run away. Okay. Is a what? What? Ah, is that a bear? Maricophagy is a feeding behavior defined by the consumption of termites or ants, particularly as a. Hmm. This may not. This may be one that we don't have to really watch out for. Hmm. Still. All right. Let's see here. It has also been called the labiated bear. What the fuck? What is labiated? What does it mean? Labiated. Yes. Entry one of two. What? Having a limb of a tubular coral or silex divided into two unequal parts projecting one over the other like lips mints in the snapdragon what or relating to the mint family so the bear's a mint Ugh, no too much too late we can't we're losing no we're losing it hmm It shares features of insectivorous. Ah, so so moving away towards our polar bear friend and uh, brown bear, I believe, who is more carnivorous. These are insectivorous. Hmm. Is a carnivorous plant or animal that eats insects or entomophagy, which also refers to human practice. It reminds me of the cannibalistic show. Well then. All right. Sloth bears breed during the spring and early summer. My God, okay, it's getting there. When their territories are encroached upon by humans, some, what? When their territories are crushed upon by humans, they sometimes attack them. Historically, humans have drastically reduced these bears' habitat and diminished their population by hunting them for food Production. Oh. A cool. Is a bone found in the penis of many placentile mammals. It is the absence of the human penis, but present in the penises of other primates, such as the gorillas or chimpanzees. Oh, wow. The O's penis arises from the paramino. I just. The penis, I don't Claws. Us humans are destroying these creatures just for their penises. I, I don't oh, My God. All right, we gotta. Men, I'm gonna wait. The sun bear. What is this? What do we have here? Let's see the sun bear author. There's a, okay. My God, okay, it's the same part. It's been part of the earliest years. Mm, they might've divided out between species. 
the sun bear is a species in the family of the Yersidae. Oh, bears are carnivorous mammals of the family Yersidae. They are classified as carniforms or dog-like carnivorans. Hmm. Although only eight species of uh, yeah, only eight species of bears are extinct. Extinct? Hmm. They are widespread, preparing. What does it mean? Do they... Do they know that we're harming these beasts? Look at all of them. I don't know. There's so much to... understand. There's much to know. Back to it. They are mainly carnivorous. They have Can I adjust it? <clears throat> they have paws. So yes, side note, they are, they can form bands. That will require further research. Black, white. Black. Hmm. Black, white, brown, brown. Yes. Mixture. That's probably the most we can pull out, at least for now. Mixture. Humans versus bears. So far, humans, so far. Humans, human, so far humans winning. Mm. The sun bear. Mm. The sun bear is a species in the family of the Eurus today. Occurring in the tropical forests of the Southeast Asia, it is the smallest bear, staring nearly 70 centimeters at the shoulder of Wang. My God. It's so cute. Just imagine if tempting you with your, your just wiles, and then next thing you know, it's coming after you, wanting you, and then consuming you. I'm that money. This is another carnivore, isn't it? Ah. The fur is generally jet black, but can never, but can vary from gray to red. 
Ray. Ray. Red. They're versatile. Arboreal. Arboreal. Another tree living type. Now, these are only exclusive. No, just animals and trees and habitats. Which trees are present? Animals have evolved to move in them. Some animals may scale trees only occasionally, but others are exclusively arboreal. Arboreal. Oh. Is the most. It's probably due to its light weight, really. The sun bear is an excellent climber and sunbathes and sleeps in the trees. Ah, very much like human activity. I see. Pretty lazy. It is mainly active during the day through noc though nocturnally owl is an animal behavior characterized by being active during the night. The night. I see. I see. Sexually mature. What? It's the capability of an org orgasm. No, organism to reproduce. Sexual. They breathe throughout the year. Individuals become sexually mature at two to four years old. My God. Sun bears sexually, sexually mature at age two, two to four. Uh. Possible child sex ring or something. Oh my God, vertebrates. What? Being omnivores. Ah, uh, I see. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Red list. What? There's many things that we still need to know more about in bears. I just, I can't believe that they've gone this far. I would have, I never would have thought them to be of, honestly, this extreme type of variety. I just, I don't know. <clears throat> I genuinely don't know. All right. We have to continue this research. There's still so much that we have to know. Ugh. All right. They do not seem to hibernate. Ah, the outlier, I see. 
Are the sun bears are the only ones that do uh, that don't hibernate? Let me. Students, are you taking your notes? Better be making sure of that. Again, just to review over of mainly what we've been going through here. Bears are very world-renowned beasts. They've taken over many parts of the hemisphere, even from the Arctic ages. Under that, they have been part of this generation for... I mean, at least their lineage dates back to thousands of years. A lot of them are mainly carnivores. A lot of them are versatile, at least. Well, at least onto that, they have paws. But then some of them also have hands. We've also known another species of polar bear to be a band. That's something that we have to look more into. I didn't know bears were... I didn't know bears were able to make music. This is something that we have to dive more into. The color varieties that we have least known go to be black, white, brown, mixture, gray, and red. Which I, this is just a whole other thing. Just who to who to know of this? I I have no idea. But this will be very very interesting. All right, back to the le now back to the lesson at hand. As you can see here, you can see here the stuff that I just reviewed. Reviewed. We have. Let's see here. South Asian. So, let's see here. American. North. Then him. Eurasian. We have another one. Arctic. <sighs> There's so much. Sloth bear, where are you? As a vulnerable, a vulnerable species, as a species which has been categorized by the International Union of Conservation of Nature as likely to become endangered unless the circumstances that are threatened is survival and reproduction improved. These are survivors, I see. The Asian black bear. My God, look at that stance. It's intimidating. Mainly known more into the Himalayas. We have one in DC, I see. A male and a female. Divergent evolution. What is this? Divergent evolution or div selection is the acclimation or difference between closely related population within a species leading to speciation. Typically, when two populations become separated by a geographical barrier. Oh. Ah, so, the, okay. So the sloth bear and the, uh, the Asian black bear, I guess, were... So brown bear through. Ah, so the brown bear, the brown bear holds a kingship to the sloth bear. I knew they were all connected. Hold on, students, I must. Must answer this. Students, 
sloth bear. I knew it. All right. Have you all been taking your notes? Good. I want you not to miss anything in this lesson. That goes for you too, fellow viewers. Now you may seem it would seem that this bear topic is not of, well, certain demographic or anything, but no. I dare say, bears need to be known. How could we understand this sly beast? All right, back to it being more. We will wait for that later. <sighs> the giant panda bear. What is it? The giant panda also known as the panda bear or simply panda. It's been native to South Central China. It's characterized by its bold and black, bold black and white coat and rotund body. It is a big um, Look at him. So plump. Snuggy Hulk, welcome to class. Please, take a seat. Join us, we are in an intense conversation on bears. You see, what we can see, at least what we know of through bears is that they have a diverse selection of beasts. We are able to break them down on species, but it turns out they're able to transcend even other species, becoming whole companies somehow becoming a football league. And then also I was able to conjure up something about it being about hairy men. I don't know. But for right now on this lesson, on the lesson today, we're gonna to be focusing on what at least is more commonly known for bears being animals. For right now, we're hitting the subject for giant panda bear. When they've been known to roam South Central China. Though it belongs in, into this order of carnivores, the giant panda is a folivore. What is this? In zoology, a folivore is a herbivore that specializes in eating leaves. Right. So it goes against its own merit and eats bamboo for 99%. But of course, there's always that 1%. They can always go savage. Mm. Giant pandas in the wild will occasionally eat other grass while wild tubers or even meat from birds, rodents, and carrions. Hmm. A rogue one, I see. Speculated bear. Speculated bear. Hold up. You need to see my screen. Out of South Central China. China, and it goes against its own carnivorous needs and decides to only eat bamboo. Ah, the species is threatened, I see. A vulnerable. Oh, of course, it's set in such a small area. With the brown bear, it's actually... With the brown bear, it was actually more into the Eurasian area. Very common bear. 
very dangerous. Look at him. Kodiak Welcome. bear. Ah, thank you. Thank you for the follow, Snuggy Hulk. Hope you're enjoying the lesson so far. Hope you're learning something new. Kodiak Bear. All right. Back to sticking up on topic. The last bear in the species that we have here is labeled as the speculated bear. Hmm. Conservation statue. There's statues? No. Speculated bear, also known as the Adine bear, the Adine short face bear or mountain bear. And locally as the Jukumari or the Yuk Yukyuki. I believe that's what it's called. Hold up. Waste of time, waste of time. Koala bear. I believe the koala bears are outside of the bear family. So is a... Ah, but they do say and share the similar traits. That is one thing that is actually understandable is that bears and koala bears are arboreal. Amazing. Yes, they are small, but look at it. Look at its eyes. Just staring at you. There's evil behind their eyes, I know it. Just like it's probably ancestral, the, the brown bear. Back to the spectral bear. The last remaining short face bear. Oh my God. Goodness, look at that face. The Tremark Tigne, or short faced bears, is a subfamily of the Yersidae. We must understand this. That contains one living representative, one in single only representative, that is the spectral bear. the spectral bear of South America and several extinct species from four genera, the Florida spectral bear, the North American short-faced bears. Hmm. My word. Short-faced bear. Systematics. Traditionally analysis. Oh. This is beyond what we were seeing. Ah. They're taking more of South America, I see. Hmm. All right, students. Now, of course, we've moved past this one uh, part of the lesson. Uh. And I know that we're kind of moving more into time, but we're going to start going more into these worksheets to understand more of the bear. Now, of course, I have brought up a couple of. Um, well, you you'll see. <clears throat> now, to know about a bear, we must understand 
understand the specifics here. All right. Pay no mind to that. Where are they? Ah, fine. See, what I'm trying to do here is set up a specific work sheet. Ah, you know what would be easier? Let me just copy this image. And throw it down in here. Haha. I am a genius. Now you see, students, you know, students, we know about the bear, but how much of the parts of the bear do we know? I know we need to understand these parts here. Here we go. No. on where is it Ah, here we go. See, students, I'm trying to add a text block here. I can't seem to find it. No matter. Ah. Blasphemy. Hmm. See the sharpness of the teeth. We can see that. Ah, we can connect it through here. What the? F Where the hell is the fucking? I mean, shit. Like I should be able to uh, to add in a fucking. Insert drawing. I mean, I should be allowed to add uh, add in a a, a a fucking text thing, but no. What the hell is the fuck? Find them. Hello, word. Here we go. Oh, insert, and then text box. Welcome. Ah, Space Cad. Welcome to the student body here. Right now, of course, currently, as you can see, try to find a seat among the lecture hall here. We are going to be setting up on our specific lesson here today about Bahers as I set this well. As I set up this worksheet here that I have, I had before you all. Now it's not an, it's not an assignment. I want to make sure of that. You all understand this, but it is, but it's something that uh, that we are going to do together. All right. There we go. 
home. Yes, this will definitely work here. Bang. Now, okay. Now we're going to be talking about some advanced levels of anatomy. My word. All right. Now I need you to, I need you students to understand this. You also to the viewers. I need you all to prepare yourselves for this um, lesson. The anatomy of the bear. It is quite advanced level. I don't hold anything. I don't hold anything back. All right. Now. Be prepared. Now, students, where do we see these places? Uh, places aligned, uh, aligned with. Of course, yes, you may have many options here, but we must understand we have to complete this. What is a bear made of? Now, of course, I do have a, some students, uh, students already here, ready to answer. Um, any of our online students for this section here? Do we have an answer for this peak that we have here? I can zoom in a little bit more. Think very carefully. There will be no wrong answers here in my class. Muscle. You think it might be the shoulder muscle? The hump, the hump. Th there is no option for a hump. Space Cat, I'm going to need you to focus here. Oh. Snuggy, thank you for at least, and uh, now I'm going to need the full answer, but uh, next time, but. Scoliosis, that I don't even. I don't, I don't even know what that means. You come here speaking gibberish. Okay, now moving on to the next one. The pointy bits here. I'm going to move this over to the students. Do any of you know? We have guests here. We must under, have them. We must be able to show them what I've been teaching you. Yeah. Yes, you, you, you in the front. I think those are, I think that might be the ears. Correct, thank you. Finally, someone actually. Thank you. You. I'll make sure that you'll be, you won't be scolded afterwards. As for the rest of you. All right. Here we go, the ear. Now. Oh, my word. No. It's long, sad eyes. What is wrong? Do you hate being put on display? No. You don't want to be pa paraded around and studied upon, do you? I understand. It is awful. No. Don't cry. Don't cry. On with the lesson. I will go ahead and go ahead and complete this one. At least we understand the weeping eye of a, of a sad, sad bear. Now, of course, 
Well, students, you must understand that these are violent, violent, awful beasts. Damn. Snuggy, you must understand you can't just be witched by instantly of these entertaining like bears. They're, they're, they're gaining sentience here. We have to study them and not be biased. Can't fall for these, these tricks that they're going to try to do to us. We can't, we cannot. <sighs> now for the, oh God, jaws, no, ears, no, we got that. This is. This is completed. We're good with that. The eyes, good. Muscles, fine. We have sharp claws, sharp teeth, hind legs, front legs, and jaw. What is this? What are you? My word, what are you? This dot. We, well, we have to go into further research. Parts of the bear. What? Oh, the nose. It has a nose. What? No. That's impossible. Space Cat, I see. I see you. Third eye. It does have a similar blackened look to it. Third eye it is. My God, look at these fangs. It's a beast. Look at it. You understand now, students? These are ferocious beasts. Yes, you might be to tempt, tem tempted by this. Well, crazy beast but we have no idea we have no idea what exactly we couldn't tell we might be wooed by its sad tortured eye of being hold of halfway extinct many of its species being separated into separate regions and displayed upon it but no 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 we have to recognize the weapons that it holds yeah we have to focus All right. Jaws, no, no. Front legs, it's, it's part of the front, but no. Hind legs, no. Sharp claws. That's not its hand, no. But that's its hand. It's its mouth. That means, students, it can only be one thing. It's teeth. Space Cat, you do have something there. It could have evolved from a shark. I've never seen teeth that big before. Hmm. My, 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 what big teeth you do have, bear. Sharp teeth. We can con We okay. Through scientific analysis, we can break it down to at least knowing that that is its jowl. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm going to I'm going to throw it out there. 
Where, what are these? Look at the massive jacked arms. Probably could be used to pulverize skulls. Ugh. All right. No, okay, let's see what we have so far. Shoulders, ear, eye, nose, okay. Sharp teeth. The jowl. Hind legs. Front legs. What is hind? Sharp claws. What could they be? I hope that you are all paying attention here, just like our good guest. All right. Hello, viewers. I hope you are all enjoying the stream so far. Hmm. Let's put it down for hind legs. Front legs. We can deduce that this is probably the front of the creature. Front legs. Really snuggy. My, 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 my. We may do tell us on how you choked cougars. How were you able to obtain such a beast in a choking fashion? as we try to solve this next question. Front legs. <sighs> Sharp claws. We're getting there, chat. Chat and students, we're almost there. We're so close. But it's the same. It's not pointing at the, the leg. It might be pointing at the legs itself, but it's pointing specifically. And hands. The claw. Mm. Uh, let's look at our expert here. The claw. Claw. Yeah. What? There. Sharp claws. Hmm. And last but not least, due to hind legs. All right. So in review, in total, we have the shoulder, the ears, the eyes, the nose the sharp teeth and the jaw that holds them. Front legs and hind legs, both armed with sharp, sharp claws. Now the grizzly bear, now the, of course this anatomy is specifically pertaining towards the grizzly bear, but I think we can also figure out that this is the same 
for the other bears that we've had on our list here. Same with the speckled bear, the giant panda bear, the sloth bear, the sun bear, the brown bear, polar bear, Asiatic uh, black bear, American black bear. Snout, eyes, ears, snout, eyes, ears. I'm not seeing the teeth. Snout, eyes, ears. Snout, eyes, ears. Snout, eyes, ears. Ah, oh, a little tongue. Snout, eyes, and ears. <gasps> Is that it? Is that what I see? No, no. My God. We have to get a better reference of this. Bear. Claws. My God. Fact or fiction? Do they even exist? Climbing trees. Yes, we are. We were able to confirm that, but. All right. Now we must put our anatomy to the test here. So I have arranged order. Ah. Oh. The ultimate skill of dexterity and knowledge that we must understand, we must be able to execute here. For that, we will piece the bear back together. Be good. We must do this, Nose. Fast. No. If anything, we would like to almost the proper music for it. No. Here we go. Ah, begin. What? Ah, the claws. I see it, I see it, I see it. Ah, the ears. Claw, ears. Ah, the eyes, the eyes. Piece it together. What is this? I don't know what this is. Ah, come on, come on. Ah, the legs. We have the legs. No, no. Come on. <gasps> Claws again. Piece it together. There it is. <gasps> Wait, is that a... What is it? What is it? It is a claw, but... What kind? What? <gasps> the snout. There we go. Come on, come on. Where is it? These are just rock. These are useless. Oh. Ah. Damn, damn, damn. Just that. D d d d what? Okay. That. I guess that worked. I guess that worked. Here we go. Come on, come on. Useless, useless. No, no. No. Ears. We're almost there. Corner. Peace. What? 
is this? Come on. We're not done. We're not done, students. Ah, yes. Yes. Yes, we're doing it. Yes. Oh. My God. There it is. Yes. Yes. There you are, show yourself. I will not be defeated by the likes of you. You bear, yes! We have done it, students. We have, we have figured out what the bear was and what it is. Down, you bear! He is a big one. Look at him. It's kind of... It's kind of... Oh boy, you look a... You look a little rough. Oh boy. That's a... That's a... Let's just on to the next one. <clears throat> okay. So, 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 so. Got that. Ah, yes. Now we must understand how well. All right. Now we must understand the bear's life cycle. Specifically, we're going to be tanning to the bear's life cycle. You see, when a mama bear and a daddy bear love each other very much, they and then they make cubs. Now, of course, they can have a variety of cubs, and the mother may not even wake up as her cub is born, so they can have the baby while sleeping. Wow. The baby will nurse. Can you sleep with a bear in winter time? I don't know. You may need to ask the bear. Cause it seems like they're gonna be sleeping. Ah. Good question. The baby will nurse for the rest of hibernation and get bigger. When the cub and mother come out of their den in spring, the cub will begin to learn how to find food and protect itself. Oh. By the time the cub is a year old, it is full grown. Cubs stay with their mothers for around two to three years, and then the mother will force it to go live on its own. Wow. Female bears are ready to mate between the ages of seven and four and seven years. What? Human years. What's... What? No. What is this? This is pointless. Dog very intelligent. Bunny years? No. What is a bear? Is it the equivalent to a dog? Maybe it is equivalent to a dog. They are part of more canine features. Okay. So 44. All right. 
Hmm. So the humans also carry these traits where the parents want to kick, uh, kick the shit out of their kids outside of their own place. The parents, the parents want to kick the kids out when they reach this age. You need to go to find a job. They're just like, fuck you, mom. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to go there and be a, I don't know. Every man. Bears. <laughs> All right. We're getting, we're getting close to the end of our lesson, uh, lesson today, but I, we will be focusing more on now people experiencing bears themselves. Let us dive deeper into this. And I grew up here in southwestern Montana. Long There it is. There it is. There, there's that snout we were just talking about. There it is. Snout. The paws. The eyes. The ears. Okay. So far, so far, so good. So far, so good on the legitness of this. My name is Todd Orr. Oh, and I, is that too loud for you guys? I am the knife maker and owner of Skyblade Knives, and I grew oh, up here in southwestern Montana, along the Madison River. Ah, uh, he lives in Montana. That's okay. That makes under that's understandable. And the life of fly fishing and hunting, dirt bike. Holy Jesus! Hiking, snowmobiling, camping, and just enjoying the outdoors and playing in the woods. Playing in the woods. What? The dude's like, all right. I've been working for the Forest Service since 1990, and I worked in uh, timber for a while, and now in the last uh, 10 years, I've been in engineering, mostly with trail systems. I started building knives what? in 1987, and there was a friend of the family that was a knife maker, and he, it was dark, and so let's about go, every 15, go. 20 seconds, I was kind of yelling out, hey bear, coming up the trail, just to make sure that I wouldn't spook a bear in the dark. Oh, so he was antagonizing it. Well, I mean, if you go around, if you go around, like, saying, like, hey, attacker, come and attack. Yeah, no, like, exactly. All right, thank you, Snuggie. Like, he's, he's, ugh. I don't know what he's trying to do here. This is just, I don't, I don't understand. Because I knew there's bear in the area. And I got about three miles up the trail right at daylight. And I stepped out into a clearing and just walking pretty fast because I wanted to get up high to look for elk before before daylight or right at daylight. So I'm walking pretty fast, stepped out into a meadow, and right on the other side of that that opening was a, a sow grizz and two cubs step out and we kind of Sow Grizz. Must be another variation. <laughs> Take noting. Wanna see each other at the same time. And I just froze and I said, Hey bear. Said said You said hey bear. Said something so she knew I was human, and she immediately <laughs> just like because I'm human. So like, yeah, like hey, 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 what's up, bear? It's me. It's like, like it's just like you're walking around. Hey, hey, don't worry. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. Right, human, human. Human, got it. Cool. All right, that's okay. Immediately turned and ran up the trail and over the ridge. And so I just waited a minute and I'm like, okay, she's headed that direction. She doesn't want to have anything to do with me. No problem. <laughs> so I waited about a minute, didn't see her. So I decided to head up the trail to the east, the opposite of direction from. <laughs> that bear was just like, kids, go down the block a little bit longer. I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to get his dinner. Um, um, where she had gone. And I took, you know, 10 or 15 steps and I heard a noise and I kind of turned and looked over my shoulder 
and she had dropped the cubs and came around the ridge and came back over the top behind me. Called it. And when I turned and looked, she was 35 or 40 <laughs> yards and coming at a full charge. Hell no. Hell no. What was, um, what was that? Yes. Uh, for, and again, for you students, for you students and, uh, what was it for all of you in the lecture in the lecture and chat? down below let me let me give you an example of what probably this guy heard it's okay All right. Like that's one example and then this. Mm-mm. Like, why do that? Like, why do that? <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. This is like, I got my gun. Got my gun, got this moose. I was able to shoot it out of the way. And then you just like see like the bear just, <laughs> just in the background like, oh yeah, bitch. Okay, cool. Square up then, dog. <laughs> Damn, that thing would break your wrist. What is that? Oh, it's ridiculous. Jesus. What was it? What was it? Okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, intense scrap between two bears. This is for educational purposes. We could show this. Look at this, students. You see the hot the hind legs, front legs. Look at the ears. No, look at this. So you're all probably thinking just like, oh, wow. Oh, dang. It's just chilling. Hey, man. They did. <laughs> He's probably chill. Probably not even doing anything. Oh, man. I gotta make it back. I'm back home. Do my cubs. Hey, man. Thank you for looking kind of shit today. Like, what the fuck? You just see me? Oh, no, man, what's good? Huh? What was that, huh? I saw you were acting up yesterday. Don't you dare stop talking about oh. Look at that. Oh, what was that? Dude. <laughs> you sounded like a, like a Harley. You hear that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Square up. Bear up then, bro. What's good? Oh. That is crazy. And that's what this guy probably heard. Hunting with a pistol most of my life. I've shot 28 bull elk and a number of deer and antelope and a moose with a pistol, and I feel fairly confident. Working for the Forest Service, I'm not law enforcement, so I can't carry a pistol, so I'm just used to every day in the woods at work. Well, yeah, no, you're not carrying a pistol. You're carrying a fucking cannon, my dude. Yeah, no. So I 
immediately just gave her a full blast of bear spray right in the face and she just came right through it at you know 30 40 miles an hour mm. and just uh all of a sudden here she comes 10 feet bear spray is really gnarly Bear spray is very, very gnarly. With the Yellowstone Forever Institute. Oh my. Two or away from. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that stash. It's pretty good. I mean, he's got his overalls, man. He's packing. He's packing his whole life stories in those cargo pants. I see you, dude. From the bear. A noisy river where the bear can't hear you. As a general <laughs> rule, you never want to surprise a bear. However, if all of that doesn't work, and you find yourself... Wait, what did he say? What did he say? Before we even get to using bear spray, hopefully you'd never be in that situation. Because there's some things you can do to prevent it. <laughs> never going to the woods. <laughs> Making noise, hiking in groups, pay attention to things like the wind that'll carry your smell to or away from the bear. A noisy river where the bear can't hear you. As a general rule, you never want to surprise a bear. However, if all of that doesn't work, and you find yourself in one of those close situations with a bear, where that bear is running up on you, or it's right there in front of you, bear spray can be an amazing tool. It's been proven to be extremely effective at keeping that bear away, or limiting an attack if, unfortunately, you get into that realm. <laughs> I love it how like a lot of all, a lot of these just example videos, just like. <laughs> and it's always like very severity, like whether it's like gun safety or just whatever kind of like crazy safety type stuff. It's just like, and all of it fails. Eh, shit out of luck. Hopefully you don't. And hopefully it's not that bad. GG. Like <laughs> high dose of pepper. Let's There's see this thing executed. So because of create a wall in front of that bear. So I'm gonna spray side to side to create a big wall of mist that that bear has to run through even if there's some wind that day. So here it goes. The not bad, not bad, not bad. And I just turned, dropped the bear spray, turned and went down on my face and protecting the back of my neck and immediately she was on top of me. My boy got dicaprio That's what that's what happened happened with mama bear. She saw <laughs> She saw that hunkin' dude uh, walk around just like Cubs, hop up. You go you go for a walk. Mama's got a Mama's gotta go take care of something. <laughs> Damn. And just uh, all of a sudden, here she comes. So the first attack was just lasted maybe 10 seconds. And I just had... Hey, man, it happens to the best of us, man. Sometimes we can last, you know, last, you know, as long as we need to. It's understandable. It's okay. Hey, don't beat yourself up to it. All right? Bite wounds up and down here and a big, pretty bad one in my shoulder. And then she was gone. She just took off. It was quiet again. And so I looked up and I'm like, wow, that was crazy. I just survived a bear attack on her because i think she woofed a couple times or kind of snorted made some noise but she just bit me five or six times on the shoulder and the right arm and then she immediately was gone so the first attack was just lasted maybe 10 damn she hit and run on you dude didn't even like leave a number that sucks bro that sucks the creek was noisy so i couldn't hear much and all of a sudden i just heard a little snap of a branch and turned behind and looked over my shoulder and she was like 15 feet behind me coming at a Damn, she came back for seconds. Some sloppy seconds. Oh, my guy. Charge again. And I had no warning or anything. So there was no time to use the bear spray, no time to grab the pistol. It was just like immediately see her and just go to my face. And I think she pretty much just knocked me down onto my face. Yep, got DiCaprio it again. Oh, my goodness, my dude ferocious she was and, the, and my arm being broke and the tendons ripped out and the blood in my face and I'm thinking is she gonna quit is she gonna leave or is she gonna come back for a third time and that's when I really felt like 
well, my odds are going downhill of surviving a second attack. So at one point... We all remember our first, my dude. I know, it's always sloppy, but... I'm glad you got... I'm glad, I'm glad you got past it. Oh, yeah, no, we can't watch that bit. She bit me in the side, and luckily she didn't rip. She just bit in and released. But it kind of turned me, and I... For a second, I had my peripheral vision. I could see her head just right here next to mine, and just the side of her head and her eye. And that was just like, oh my God, she could just take me out so easily. And I just pulled back to that position to protect myself. And finally, all of a sudden, she just stood there for like 30 seconds, and her claws were just digging in my lower back. All of her weight right there just had me pinned to the ground. Just kind of smashed down into my knees. My face was smashed into the dirt. And all of a sudden, she just stepped off and was gone. And I just kept that position because I didn't know where she was for sure. Is she 10 feet away? Did she leave? I didn't want her to come back again. So I waited like 30 seconds. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, if she went to check on the cubs and decides to come back to see if I'm, you know, still down, you know, maybe she, I'm going to have a third attack. And I'm like, I, I don't know if I can survive that. I uh, was lucky to survive the second one. Thought I was going to die at a couple points there. Yeah, so third time's not a I charm on that one, my so dude. I slowly reached up wiped the blood out of my eyes and looked to each side I'm still in that position and I didn't see her anywhere but I saw my pistol laying over there about 10 feet away and so I just looked my head up didn't see her go for the pistol grabbed it out of the holster hammer back and uh, just and then looking around to see where she was and hoping she wasn't coming back <laughs> my guy so I... my guy was trying to pull a dirty Harry I guess <laughs> he was definitely feeling lucky yeah we can't watch that part that's him all bloodied up there a couple okay. ranch houses and there was a rancher getting into his mailbox and i stopped him i was trying to reach over and roll the window down but my arms were really starting to cramp up and i was having a hard time just reaching across to the window and i'm kind of trying to wave at him through the window and finally he sees me and comes over sees all the blood on my face i said i just got attacked by a bear can you call the hospital and just let him know that i'm on my way to town and he's like, yeah, no problem. Do you need a ride? And I'm like, I'm already bleeding all over in my truck. I don't want to mess your truck up as well. So I'm like, I'm fine. Real naked. <laughs> real recognizes real. It's like, my guy, my guy is bleeding to death. Bleeding to death. And he's just like, hey, hey, my dude. I don't want to. <laughs> like, I can't mess up your truck can't do that to you i just can't do that fine i'm not gonna go into shock i can handle the drive it's just another 10 minutes so he said all right he ran into the house to make the call and i headed down the road and got to the highway and then i called my girlfriend and it's about eight o'clock eight thirty in the morning now and so she answers and she's like oh hey sweetie um i'm like what are you doing she's like oh, I <laughs> how was your day babe i can't really talk right now i got a little bit of a problem just like oh you always do this you always do this. You always try to like in bad money. He probably like played jokes, uh, jokes, and then it's just like it didn't count this time. Way to cry, bear. This fell apart. Damn. My dude survived second, like two bear attacks. I just got out of bed and got a shower, and I'm heading to have coffee with Jill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great, babe. That's great. Don't mean to interrupt. Don't mean to interrupt. But got attacked by a bear, not once twice i'm gonna need you to just i'm gonna need you to cancel that coffee with jill like and then so we talked for just a few seconds and then she's <laughs> like why are you calling me aren't you supposed to be on top of the mountain and i'm like well don't want you to panic or worry but had a little run in with a grizzly bear and she was just quiet i said i have a broken arm and some lots of puncture wounds and a big gash on my head but the blood is I, I, she's uh, in nursing school so i I knew she was gonna have lots of questions. And so I just kind of knew that ahead of its time. And I'm like, I'm not bleeding that. <laughs> you drove, like this guy definitely drove a couple blocks. Just like, oh fuck, this is gonna be a whole conversation that I don't want to have. Just like, wanted to like just debate having that whole, nah. Not bad, I'm not gonna go into shock. Everything is good. And I'm just gonna be at the hospital here in about five minutes in Ennis. And if you wanna, if you're just not too busy, can you bring over a toothbrush and a change of clothes? And uh, she's like, no problem, I'll see you in an hour. So I 
hung up with her and headed on into the hospital. Went on inside and they took x-rays everywhere that I had bites. They wanted to x-ray and make sure there was no other broken bones, just had the one in this arm. And then they had about seven or eight hours of stitches. Had a doctor on each side just putting stitches in me and stitching everything up. And I can't remember how many stitches it was, but there was like 26 inches of wounds that they had to sew back together or something like that. They count inches or centimeters or something nowadays. But and <laughs> I don't know what they did to me. Hope they didn't measure me with no. <laughs> oh, they stitched me up with American measurements. And so, about 4:30 in the afternoon, they uh, released me and let me head back to to Bozeman. And I would have to go to the orthopedic surgeon the next morning to get my arm looked at, where the tendons were sticking out. And the doctor just kind of pushed those back in and stitched it over to keep the bleeding, you know, in for the time being. But Jesus. I'd have to go get that looked at and see what kind of surgery I would need to get my arm to work again. So it's a crazy day. <laughs> crazy day. It's been six months now since my attack, six months last weekend, and I'm mostly healed, lots of scars. Can't quite open this hand all the way yet, but still working on it. And after the attack, I had about two months where I really couldn't do much, just rehab three days a week, trying to get everything to work again. Nah. And, uh, back in the gym, trying to get some strength back. And right at the end of hunting season, um, the last three, four days of the hunting season, end of November, I felt my arm was healed up enough that I could get back and hike a little bit and kind of look around for an elk. I, oh, see that's like, I don't understand that. How do people just like, so you survived you got one of the rarest opportunities that you got you survived a bear attack twice 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 and you, you just thought like and like you went through like all the rehab you like were hunting mm, hunting and you got everything back and you're just like bro another one i'm going back like you look like he looked he probably looked his girl right in the eye and just be like babe I'm going back. Like, who does that? Crazy stuff. I had, like, for, like, the massive, uh, for the massive parts of, like, the bear, uh, bear being shown. It's just, like, and granted, like, we know exactly what's uh, part of the bear. I, was, I mean, like, he def it definitely used its claws, its super sharp claws, its sharp teeth, nose, you know, jaw. It's wild stuff. And I ended up going out uh, by myself the first day. <laughs> Didn't go to that area, went to a different area. <laughs> Didn't walk around my, my part of the woods anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Couldn't handle that. Area and actually saw a bear sign that was fairly fresh and made me very nervous. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to get in this situation again. But uh, everything went fine. And then uh, hunted a couple days with a buddy and actually went back to the same area where I'd been attacked. But I had a friend with me. We both had pistols. He had a rifle. We had bear spray. And it was snow and I, we didn't see any bear sign at all. So I felt fairly safe. But definitely was nervous going back huh. in the woods and very more aware of what was around me. It's like if there was... <laughs> Yeah, we uh, yeah we went up and tried to find her and killed her and all of her cubs. Yeah, missed me with that bullshit. The bear in that area. I wanted to make sure I saw her at a distance and could back out and avoid the situation. But I've spent my life in the woods. I've grown up. I work in the woods. I play in the woods. I hunt weekends. It's my life. There's no way I'm not going to go back out there. And I'm going to be back out hunting and. Um, I'm going to be a little bit nervous this spring. Um, I've been out, you know, a number of times hiking around, but going back into bear country for my job, I'll be a little bit nervous and oh, make sure that job? I'm well prepared and just paying attention. I don't resent her. I don't hate bears. Um, I don't feel any different. I still have a respect for them. I think she was a more aggressive than any bear I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of bears in my <laughs> life. And usually they want to go the other way and, or they'll bluff. Ch like, like, charge you if they're if you're too close but she actually came around she was kind of aggressive me, almost like she was pursuing and wanted to make sure that i was not a threat so she seemed very aggressive and especially the second attack but i don't 
have anything against her. She was protecting her her cubs, and you know, I was to her the original 80 yards or whatever must have been too close. So she came in to make sure that I wasn't a threat. Well, I don't know that I would do anything differently during the whole attack. I I protected myself. I was able to walk out of there. My legs were good. I had my legs kind of tucked underneath me. The, they tell you to lay flat and protect the back of your neck, but to lay flat so the bear can't flip you. But to me, that exposes a lot of muscle and a lot of arteries in your legs and your in your you know back of your legs and your butt. And can't lose I that. Be able to walk out to get out. I don't want to expose that. And at the same time, if I'm laying flat so she can't flip, yeah, to protect that wagon. Flipping out. That's what he had to do. Anything. It's not like me laying flat is going to stop her from flipping me if she wants to. So I just tried to stay in the smallest ball <laughs> that I could. I know she's a, she was a sturdy girl. <laughs> Ah, damn, my guy got DiCaprio by the bear. And protect everything as long as I could until she was gone. And so I don't think I'd do anything differently there. And it's amazing what your body can do when you shut that, you can shut that pain out. I remember the, the pain of the first bite of each attack and just excruciating pain that made me flinch and make a noise. And then the rest of the bites, I can remember the pressure and I could hear like the, the canines crunching into the muscles but I don't associate any pain with that. Ah. It's like you just adrenaline and you're just in a survival mode and you can survive it. And that's another thing just to tell people. It's like, if you're in that situation, if you really want to survive, you can tell yourself and you can block out that pain and you can ride it out. And I just kept telling myself, I'm Ooh, like, boy. don't move, don't breathe, don't move. She's going to leave. She's going to leave. You can survive this. She's going to leave. Chill, 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 chill. She did. And I'm here to tell the story. My dude, my dude had the strats. My dude had the strats down to survive the bear attack. Cover yourself up. Couldn't believe that. Couldn't believe that. I was say, how fast are bears? Damn, what the hell is this like fucking security ass camera? Like 480p fucking resolution. What is this? Jesus. That doesn't look that fast. What's the top speed of a bear? Hmm. Well, let's see here. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Well, 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 students, I think we're going to end it just a little bit early today. We covered off a bunch. I think we had a good time. I think we had a grand time. I hope you all had enjoyed. I like. can't wait to see all the viewers again. Can't wait to see all you students again. Make sure now we're going to be back here around 7, yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern again tomorrow we're going to be diving more about um bears um, bears and such we're going to be going more into now how they could be sports pop sports and pop culture and stuff and we're going to see how much we can dive into that we might i might even try to set up a quick game or so i think that'll be i think that'll be kind of fun but let's see here hmm Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set you guys up here with a little bit of a raid. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, hope you guys were feeling good. Hope you thought this uh, experience was great. I had a great time. We're gonna hop on over. We're gonna hop on over to my boy Al Alec Arts. An artist, an artist. Currently, they're building Gundams oh, right now, so that's gonna be a good time. A little bit of creative. Got you on the logic side, but now we're gonna be going over to the artistic side. Kind of a sp spread it out a little bit more. Let me try to figure out the the stuff here. All right, cool. I'm going to send you on over to Alec Arts. Now, make sure to tell your friends about today's lesson. Make sure you tell them on what uh, what all they missed out on. And let's see here. I had a great time teaching you guys and us diving more into the whole bear situation. We have a lot more to discuss on bears. I'm excited on this topic. I hope you enjoyed uh, this stream. I hope you have a great day. Stay afraid and keep learning. Make sure to spread uh, spread the news of the stream again. I'm going to keep repeating myself on that part. And uh, yeah, no, make sure to have a good one, okay? Let's see here. All right. Later. an announcement
pretty good with my magma unit. My Evangelion unit I have is pretty bad. Or maybe I was just bad. Professor Void! Hey man, thanks for the raid! And the sub! How's it going? I saw you streaming, but I didn't realize you were planning on chilling at the same time. <laughs> good it was pretty good we were learning about bears oh my lord oh well that's good what kind of bears just bears in general in a specific breed all right we have a torso That's what it is today, though, so. Not too bad. Good start. Doesn't normally 